Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. You are watching my knitting podcast videos and my name is Sari. And if you are new to my channel, let me just quickly introduce myself. So I'm a knitwear designer from Finland, I'm currently living in Helsinki. And I work as a professional knitwear designer for a Finnish yarn company called Novita. And I also publish my own patterns under my own name uh, on Ravelry. And you can also find some of my patterns on lambitting.com. Um, Today I'm gonna be sharing a few um, works that I'm um, currently knitting uh, that are eventually turning into new patterns and new test knitting opportunities and also I'll talk about my work at, at Novita because I get quite often asked um, about my, my work there and especially how I decide what patterns um, I publish myself and what uh, patterns I will publish um, under under Novita. And I can start talking about this uh, pullover that I have on my needles. So I casted this on uh, about a month ago, less than a month ago. Um, but I bought the yarn, um, I think it was during winter. And I've been needing a black pullover in my wardrobe for quite a while already. Um, I'm missing a basic black uh, pullover that I can wear every day. I know that uh, as soon as I have one, that then I'm going to be wearing it uh, quite a lot. Um, my goal this weather for the past few months has been the, the light pink hour. Uh, pullover that I made. Um, it has like this relaxed fit but it still looks quite polished so I can easily style it with, with a skirt and, uh, and uh, nice accessories so that it, it looks really nice at, at the office um, but it's still uh, easy going and cozy and I love wearing it so I wanted to Made, make something similar, something uh, effortless, something chic, something timeless. Um, I was first thinking about making another hour pullover, but then kind of like decided to, to do something else, something even more more classic because the hour, hour pullover has the quite like um, volume sleeves, so I wanted more uh, traditional. Um, pattern and I wanted to do something that is worked from top down rather than bottom up so this is what I'm making I'll just work a couple of stitches and then I'll show you so here it is I'm not sure if you can see anything on the film I'll try to bring it a bit closer so you can see see it better so it has um, a double folded neckline and and um, other than that it's like very very basic I'm working the the sleeves also seamlessly so I use the same um, short row technique that I have used for uh, for example the Empress tee and also uh, the Monica, Monica Geller tee so I'm uh, working working uh, the sleeves with short rows, shaping the sleeve cap. And this is how it looks. And I decided to cast it on during the summer because as you can see it's quite impossible to see anything. And even now with the additional uh, strand of mohair that I'm working with, so I'm working with uh, Knitting for Olives uh, soft silk mohair and, and their um, Merino and they're both in the colorway licorice so it's really hard to see all the stitches so that's why um, it's a good thing that I'm working this during the summer because when it becomes darker outside I know that I won't see anything so very 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 basic 
a minimalistic pullover. Um, I finished the bottom ribbing, but then I realized that it's a few centimeters too short. I kind of want it to be uh, a bit longer, so I will undo the bottom bottom ribbing and and make it um, a bit bit longer. And I'm almost finished with the first first sleeve. Then I have to make the still have to make the second second sleeve. But that's um, been my um, mindless project at the moment. So it's basically just a stocking and stitch in the round. So it's really I don't have to concentrate on it. And I can just like uh, mindlessly work on it. Um, other things that I've been making, I think um, I, I I told you uh, uh, in some previous episode that it's a sign of uh, summer coming for me when I start uh, knitting socks, and then um, when the autumn starts to arrive um, I start to knit more pullovers and at the moment I'm <laughs> knitting pullovers so that is a sign that summer is going away and it's um, slowly starting to turn into autumn and I'm quite sad about that because I'm such a summer person and really would want the summer to go on a bit longer although I do like the early autumn as well I don't like winter, I don't like the darkness um, and I don't like cold so not looking forward <laughs> to that I've noticed that um, it gets harder for me every year um, to face the darkness especially here in Finland it's really dark uh, during during winter and often very cold and and like I said it, it gets harder year year by year for me and also I noticed that every year when the spring comes uh, I get more energy uh, from the sun sign and from from warmth so I don't know <laughs> kind of already a bit depressed about um, about winter coming but there's not really anything I, I can do about it. Um, what else do I have on my needles here? This one, this is probably the newest thing I have on my needles. You can see here. This is worked from uh, bottom up and has this cable cable pattern and then some some mustache here and I'm working this with um, Hedgehog Fibers new base called Tweedy and it's um, a DK weight yarn it's made with um, recycled wool so 37.5% of this is recycled wool and 12% uh, a bit over 12% uh, is Hedgehog Fibers uh, thread waste. So they are, are recycling all the little uh, scraps of yarn that um, comes from dyeing yarn. And they um, cart them together uh, to make new yarn. And the rest of the yarn is uh, Falkland Merino wool. So it's uh, this like grayish base. Um, I think. It's probably undyed, it looks like it, and then it has these small speckles of, of um, all kinds of colors. So everything from, like you can see here, pink and turquoise. There are bits of gold yarn, um, neon yellow, for example, you can see here on, on this bubble, there's like neon yellow over here. and and all kinds of colors so it's really fun to to work with this yarn because I'm all the time waiting uh, to see what what color comes next and such a such a nice yarn it looks amazing for example here you can see at the mustache section you can see all these little pops of color 
it looks really nice. Super excited to be working working with this yarn. And the last um, thing I will show you today is my ballad pullover. It is still missing the last few centimeters of ribbing for the first sleeve and then I have to make the second sleeve so it's very soon done and it looks like like this so I still have a bit bit to do with the first sleeve and then I have the second sleeve and this is such a lovely pullover I can't wait to wear it uh, of course, it's too hot for this time of the year, but because it's um, knitted in, in a lace pattern, as you can see here, it's quite airy, so it's not that heavy that, than, that it would be if it was like a cabled pullover. So this is quite a thick yarn. I'm working it with 5.5mm uh, and 5mm needles. And I made it quite wide and it's slightly slightly cropped. Can, you can see see here how it looks like so I think it will be um, really nice and not not too hot for me and I'm working it with um, the Nadora's Cyrano yarn and this is the colorway quartz and it's beautiful beautiful quite quite thick yarn it's still a bit uh, bit stretchy and very nice to work with. This is actually my first time working with, with this yarn. I've used um, other yarns from them uh, before but, but my first time working with, with this. So um, this will be available for test knitting quite soon. Let's see when I have time to to finalize the pattern but because of the the lace on the front and it because it works from top down um, I think I will have to draw separate charge shot <laughs> separate charts for um, each size so that will take me a bit more time than than just making one one chart and and um, working from that but yeah it's worth it because it's it's such a beauty and well that's what I wanted to show you today um, and now I will get back to the other topic that I was going to talk about so the main difference um, between my work as an indie designer and and as um, a knitwear designer for a young company is that um, at Novita um, the main focus is on selling yarn. So we design um, uh, different patterns to sell sell more yarn. So that's the that's the um, main reason I am there. Um, I'm part of the the marketing team. So I'm not like part of like a design team or something like that. Of course I'm part of the design team as well, but there's not just like an artistic department for, for Novita, but I'm part of the marketing team. So the designs that we make um, for Novita, um, their main um, reason is to, to sell more yarn and to show the customers uh, what kind of yarns we have and how they look like uh, when you knit them up because everybody knows that that yarn looks different uh, on a ball or on skein that then it looks like when it's knit, knitted up so that's um, what we want to do we want to inspire our customers um, so that they get ideas uh, what what they can do with the yarn and and um, how to use it and like I said how it looks like when it's um, worked as for example for a, for a pullover or for socks or or so on 
and also we want to show the new colorways that we have so that's kind of like the, the, the main um, point of my work at Novita so it's not about always making um, the, the most exciting design um, but well of course it's also about making pretty designs and amazing designs because that's um, what inspires people but but the main thing is that um, we need to sell yarn and we don't get that much money from the patterns so we make our own um, uh, magazine that comes out four times a year and of course we get money from the magazine when we sell the magazines but every time a new magazine comes out uh, the patterns from the previous magazine become freely available um, on the Novitanit's website so in that sense um, we don't get that that much money from the from the um, patterns but we get money from selling yarn and when I work as an indie designer I'm not selling yarn, I'm selling the pattern, so um, it was a bit, I think that was the hardest thing for me when I started working for Novita. Say hi to Luna, she's always doing the same round in uh, I think almost every um, every YouTube video I have made. And she knows that I will be sitting here for a while so she's taking her opportunity to get some some lap time, um, but what was what, I can't remember what I, what I was talking about. Um, so when I started to work uh, at Novita uh, at the beginning of 2019, I think that was the the hardest thing for me to to uh, kind of like understand uh, of my new work is that like like I said that. Um, I'm not there to sell patterns, I'm there to sell yarn. And that means that I can't always design um, what I want, but I have to go think about the yarn first and then then the, the product that um, I will make. So, um, for example, when I'm designing myself, so I first have an idea of something that I want to make and and maybe it's a color um, that I have in my mind. I'm obsessed with some color, so I think, okay, I'm really obsessed with uh, like really uh, dark uh, caramel color at the moment, and I want to make something um, with that that uh, color. And then I started to think, okay, I want to make a cabled pullover with that kind of yarn. I have this uh, idea of of a color and design in my mind, and then I start to search. Um, where can I get this type of yarn that I can make uh, the design that I have in my mind and maybe I find something but um, it's out of stock so then uh, usually I just go forward okay next but at Novita it goes the other way around so I first have the yarn and then um, the yarn has to become a pattern that um, like showcases the yarn um, in the best possible way and so that's a, um, a slightly different way to think about it and that was the, first, the thing that I struggled the most at first that I, as an indie designer I usually get to do whatever I want to do especially if I'm self-publishing it's of course it's a bit different if, if, if it's for uh, a magazine or, or a publication then there are, there are other people who have their input on what I'm doing so I'm not allowed to do whatever I want but it has to fit into that publication's um, mood board and idea so I have a certain set of frames to, to work um, within and the same thing goes for uh, for um, Novita. So uh, as an indie designer um, I can do whatever I want, I can design whatever I want, I have, I can usually have my own uh, deadlines, I can use whatever yarn I want, but for Novita um, I, I, I have that a certain set of frames that I have to, to um, stay <laughs> inside of 
And for example, when we make the Novita magazine, and it's the same for any uh, knitting publication, you have to have certain um, number of um, knitwear for women, certain number for men, certain number for kids. And then when we start chopping that down, okay, of the women's, let's say we have 20 patterns for women, 10 patterns for men, and 10 patterns for children, that's 40 patterns. Um, and then we start like narrowing it down for for example the kids kids patterns um a few of them have to be for for boys a few of them have to be for girls that's five and five let's say like that um then there has to be one one cardigan one pullover one hat one scarf one pair of socks that's five patterns and of those five patterns one of them has to be um, really beginner friendly, so really super easy. If you have never knitted before, you can do this. And some one of them has to be um, quite hard. So that's like the set of um, um, the, the frame that I have uh, that I work within at Novita. And then we start to go through uh, the yarns that we have uh, that we have to use. And so that we can we feature all, all our yarns, especially the novelty yarns, new seasonal yarns and new colors. And we start start picking, okay, this um, this yarn um, is best for that project and this yarn is best for that project. So I, I can't just go and pick my favorite colors, my favorite yarns and start making stuff. Um, usually um, after we have this this kind of like skeleton uh, frame uh, for our magazine. Then I have, uh, of course, we have the mood board. So the theme theme for for the magazine and for the photo shoot. But after that, I usually have pretty uh, free hands to do whatever I want within that theme and within within the frame that I've been given. And so. It might be, okay, this is the yarn that you're going to use, this is the color you're going to use, um, make um, kids socks and go. So that's how I work at, at Novita. Um, that's not how I work as an indie designer. So as an indie designer, um, I get to be more free um, to do whatever I want to do. Of course, there are collaborations, and like I said, I work with other publications as well. And then there's always some kind of framework, but I still get to be uh, really me and, and do whatever I want and don't really think about anything else. Um, another thing that um, makes my work for Novita different from um, my work as an indie designer, um, I al already mentioned that um, as an indie designer, I get to pick whatever yarn I want. Of course, at Novita, I have to use Novita's yarns. And um, I mentioned that as an indie designer, um, I, I can work with whatever patterns um, and deadlines I want, and that uh, I can do that as, as uh, at Novita. But um, there's also the difference. Uh, Usually with my indie work, um, sometimes I use sample knitters, especially if it's for a publication and and in uh, it's a it's a sample that I don't get back or it's not in my size. Um, then I usually use sample knitters for those. So I, about a year ago, I made the decision that um, I won't um, if I don't really have to. I won't knit anything that I won't be wearing myself. So I'm only knitting for, for me um, during my free time or as part of my indie designer work. And I use sample knitters for, for other projects. So if I'm working with a magazine and, and I have to make a, a size for Excel pullover or a size uh, S pullover, so the, neither of those will fit me. So then I will will use a sample knitter for those projects and and use my own knitting time for, for things that are, are for me. And um, what I was going to say, um, at Novita, um, I don't knit 
uh, samples myself, or I very rarely do. Um, usually there's about one or maybe maximum two pieces um, in every Noitu magazine that I have made myself. They're usually something really small, like in the newest magazine <clears throat> I made um, a beret for, for a kid and also kids' socks. But those were the only things that I knitted myself, everything. Oh yeah, I made one uh, Amigurumi um, bunny rabbit toy also, because um, not that good at, at crochet that I can write a pattern and and be kind of like sure that um, it's right, so I need to write a pattern as I as I work it. So that's um, that, that's that was what, what what I was coming into. So when I'm um, working as an indie designer, um, I and I need my own samples, then um, I can experiment more because I always have the opportunity to to change my my mind or or the the design at any point. So, for example, maybe. The, like like I said for this one, uh, I want to make it a bit longer, and or maybe I want to make the, the sleeves different than than what was my original thought, and stuff like that. So small things, I'm able to to make changes as I go. But for for the patterns that I make for Novita, um, I don't need them myself. Like I said, so. Uh, I have to be sure uh, um, from the very beginning. I have to finish the pattern uh, before I see the sample. So I only make a small uh, swatch, and then I write um, one size for the pattern. It's usually the sample size, so S or M, and that's the the uh, sample that will be for photographed for for the magazine. And then I send the pattern and the yarn to to a knitter. And we employ quite many knitters at Novita, and and after the knitter has um, worked the the pattern, sometimes there are some small things. Uh, I say that don't do the neckline; I will finish it, or or some other small pieces that um, I want to make sure. But usually, I I don't have time for that, so it has to be um, thought through uh, at the time that I send the yarn and the pattern off. And when it comes back, it goes to our tech editor, and she grades the, the, the uh, different sizes and finalizes the pattern. So that's uh, what my work looks at Novita. So I can't really experiment a lot of things um, because, like I said, it has to be like it has to be perfect uh, on the first time around, and and. I think that's one of the main reasons my work at Novita differs from what I do at at home. Um, at home, I can experiment with different techniques, and I usually nowadays um, my indie design um, work, what I design myself uh, during the evenings. It's usually the kind of stuff that um, I'm like experimenting on, and when I Think I have cracked um, a new technique, then I can use it for a Novita pattern because I know how it goes and I can just write it. I don't have to like try it again. So this is like my experiment lab, and then Novita is is the, the main factory that produces stuff. If <laughs> if I can put it put it like that, um, there are a few more things that um, differ for for my from my. Um, work at Novita and from um, my indie uh, designer work. Um, one of them is that because Novita patterns will become a magazine, they have to fit a certain um, amount uh, of, of like pages. So it can't really be longer than two pages. Three pages is already too much because we have limited space um, in the magazine, we have a certain number of um, pages that everything has to fit in, and so it has to be 
the kind of pattern that um, fits in a magazine. So for example, the palette pullover that needs to have different charts for each size. I can't do something like that for Novita because it would take so much space uh, in the magazine. So it has to be something that uh, is, is um, shorter. Two pages is quite long, but especially if you have loads of charts, then it's uh, quickly too little. And another thing is that um, we write the patterns in Finnish and the Finnish uh, knitting vocabulary isn't as good as it's in English. Um, we have kind of like a different way of writing patterns um, in, in Finnish uh, and in English. Uh, English patterns use uh, a lot of abbreviations and like K1, P1 um, and then X2 means like do this twice and we don't we don't do those kind of things in Finnish. We kind of like write it out that okay you have to work um, in ribbing and you work this over the next four stitches and uh, stuff like that. So um, for example um, tubular cast on and tubular bind off. Uh, we don't really have words for them in Finnish. Uh, provisional cast on. I have no idea what that is in Finnish. Is there like, or there is a word for that, but um, for example, there are so many cast on methods um, available. You have the long tail cast on method, you have the back loop cast on method, you have provisional cast on, tubular cast on, and so on and so on and so on. So that, um, um, that means that. Um, I would have to explain everything all over again. I can't just write that, okay, um, use a provisional cast on technique and then, uh, then cast on this and this many stitches because we don't have the words. And then, uh, because I work for Novita, I can't put up a link that, okay, go to Drops Design page and watch this tutorial video because we have to have our own tutorial videos. We can't, um, tell the customers to go to, to our competition and see their videos. So we would have to make our own videos and that takes time. So those are like the main reasons why my I have different um, kind of like a bit different patterns that um, uh, I sell uh, on my own and what I work for Novita. And it's not, I can't really say that this, this design is better than that or, or um, I often get asked um, how do I pick if this is a, a design for Novita or if this is a design for, um, for myself. Um, usually the things I do myself are kind of the leftovers um, from my Novita ideas. So they are either too complicated for the Novita magazine, the pattern would be too long, or um, uh, they, uh, they use technique that, that um, we don't have in Finnish. Um, for example, Novita doesn't have this like fluffy mohair yarn, so um, stuff like that um, are, are the kind of uh, reasons why, why something doesn't become, or it doesn't fit the theme, or it doesn't fit the frames that I talked about, about earlier. Um, that's everything I have for today. Um, if you have questions about this, I can make another video and ask for your questions. So if you have questions, please please ask me. But I hope this explained a bit um, on about how I work and um, what my work uh, looks like at, at Novita because I, I get questions quite often and I'm, I'm really happy to talk about about my work so just ask me anything if you if you want to hear but yeah that's everything for today and i hope to talk to you again soon bye